النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المسلين وقم بالله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا نمام جالو بشف you have the floor please thank you chairman Lord God of mercy of grace of healing and of restoration we call upon your divine power that you look kindly upon uh, this nation and all other nations of throughout the whole world and cut short this COVID-19. The increase, we've re recorded some increase in this land during the past few days. And we ask, Lord, that it, be, it will be stopped at the figure that we have now and the situation to be reversed. We continue to ask that you give the health sector the necessary resources to be able to fight these virus amongst us in this land. And we continue to ask that as we continue in our TRRC sitting, that you grant the witnesses that come before us the boldness to be able to speak the truth and the commission the discernment of spirit to be able to discern between truth and falsehood. And we ask and commit the remaining um, hearings to your good care and direction so that everything will all go well for this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, I'm, uh, Bishop Odiko. Uh, Council, are we ready with this morning's witness? If we are, please proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, commissioners and members of the audience. Uh, Mr. Chair, you will recall that um, we, because of uh, the suspensions of, of the hearings uh, during the outbreak of the COVID-19, uh, the commission had to suspend the public hearings uh, on the uh, road users. That was the team that the Commission was considering at the time. Uh, so yesterday, the Commission finished uh, the hearings on uh, the Gambia Prison Service. So we would wish to go back to the uncompleted theme of uh, abuse of the road users uh, and uh, hopefully uh, in the next, well, maybe early next week, we would finish that theme. So the witness we would call, or the witnesses we would call today would be on that particular theme, uh, the abuse of uh, the road users. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Sagar Thomas Jahate would lead the next witness. Thank you. Thank you, Esa. Um, good morning, everyone. Mr. Osha, kindly get the witness for us. Thank you. I lam in Sedekan. I lam in Sedekan. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. Help me God. Good morning, Mr. Sedekan. Morning. Welcome to the TRRC. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation for you to come and testify this morning. Thank you. Just a few housekeeping rules before we begin. You already know my name, which is Sagar. I've introduced myself. I would like you to speak very clearly and loudly into the microphone to the hearing of the entire audience. Audience, yes. And I would like to also warn you about your duty to tell the truth. It is an offense to lie before the commission. So we would like you to keep that in mind as you go through the salient points of your testimony. Yes. Mr. Interpreter, I'm sorry, but I forgot to tell you that he's speaking in Mandinka, I believe. Was he sworn in Mandinka, Mr. Usher? 
He told me that he wants to speak in Mandinka. Would you like to proceed with Mandinka, Mr. Sidikan? Yes. Mr. Asha, I believe we have to do this again. You'll have to swear him in Mandinka, and let's start over. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sirikan, and I apologize for omitting to tell the interpreters about your okay. uh, favored language. Enumbara, Mr. Sirikan, ye haketu ni nata mafo nuna kana suru la liyamko ye ni nafuko ilafta diamu la kango mendo. Okay. You're here today really to tell us about what you know whilst you were a motorcycle escort of the presidential convoy, as well as a convoy driver. Be in at a young in a can, Puru, Yemen long, Wato Meng Eka Tara Convoy Kono, Kamasim Maburin, the President of Danda Nabita Dulalto, a Nymphanang, Ekamoto Burindo, a convoy of Kono, Wato Meng, Yilmeng Soto J, Yemen Long J, Menketa Kulukono, left a Yole for Commission AB. And also motor transport officer at the State House. And in at a Moro Mara Motolu Kenya la State House in Kirato. You're here to tell us about those accidents that you witnessed whilst you occupied those various positions. Left telephonang, ye accident lu menu sede ya watu meng yo palaso lu mara left ayo lu fanali Kenya fobi. In particular, those accidents surrounding the presidential convoy. Sako accident lu menu ya longko woleka ke president lu convoy fong lu dinkira aning abe damenu to menu ketaji. We would also like to know the attitude of the authorities as well as the former president Yaya Jami to these accidents. Lafila, Nyaton Kolu Menu Beje, Wulu Yo Koja Nyaming Yamuta Nyadi, and in President Fang Ayo Kolu Muta Nyaming Ayaja Nyaming, Itela Londo to Melafla Kaufan along. What was done by the authorities after the accidents occurred and how victims were treated? Ning accident will look at a pare. Nyatongo lo kana mune tamani je animfana ikana mune kemoli meni alonko ya mantoro taki wo aksida ukono katabu la president fanga la mbela fila wulu fana ngalong. I hope that is clear and you are ready to proceed with your testimony. Na mera utosoni ati amale andu silang ipareta le puruka tenteng ila sede ya rola. Yes, it's clear. Kindly tell us what your full names are. Taeng afonyeng ito fanga ni kanto mwenye. My name is Lamin Sedikan. What is your address? Talindin. Where and when were you born? 20 May 1968, Jara Sankuya, LRR. And what is your present occupation? I'm in charge, I'm MTO at State House. Motor I am transport officer. The MTO at the State House, the motor transport officer. In charge of the vehicle and the drivers. In charge of the vehicles and the drivers. Can you just tell us what particular vehicles and drivers are you in charge of at State House? A fun young Etemarta Moto for Sunjumanio Lela, a Ning driver Jumanio Lumen Veta Koto, State House J. Military vehicles, a Ning civilian drivers and the military drivers. Military vehicles, civilian drivers, and uh, military drivers. In Thank convoy motor. 
and uh, convoy vehicles. Thank you very much. Can Thank you man. just give us a brief run through of your professional background in the army? Saying, as <laughs> the under ya fonying, a breed under soldier ya to ila kool bulatanyo no manyadi le kata ila londo ya karangulu meneke fo kana bulab nintemben. Follow follow into joint in 1991. Then the former gendarmerie. First off, I joined in 1991 in the former Zandemori. I six month training. Yeah? I had a six month training. Sorry, before, before being a selection of my entire has my driving license. Sorry, before that, I had, there was a selection and I went there with my driving license. And you select entire testing, the vehicle testing. I was selected and I went for vehicle testing. Another looking at Kronga pass. I was lucky and I passed. Another selection of the physical exam, BFT. Then we went for the selection. We did the physical examination, which is the BFT. And in doctor exam. And the doctor exam. Another training start for six months. And then we started the training for six months. Imperator training for six months, not a Taragara Sojinto. When we completed the six months training, I was at the garage in Bakao. Can you please tell us to what position um, you were posted after you finished your recruitment training? Uh, I was promoted to the rank of a lance corporal and uh, assigned to the garage. In what position? What were you doing at the garage? Uh, Normal driver to in detailing so detailing I was just a normal driver, and if there were detailings, we went for that. Please proceed. Quite anything. May for the 1994 coup. I was there until the 1994 coup. In moved to Yundum. Then I was moved to Yundum. But in other Zandam dissolved, yeah, okay, in Tolsamba Army, the old one, only old Samba police. Then the Zandamori was dissolved, and uh, some of us were taken to the army, and the old ones were taken to the police. And another time, Yundum, now that out for two weeks. I was at Yundum for two weeks. Another for Ngamuru Bakao, because resident in Bakao, then Kampo Toje. Then we were ordered to return back to Bakao, because then I was resident at Bakao. Uh, and how long did you remain at Bakao, and in particular, where in Bakao? Did you say? Otherwise known as the Fajara Barracks. Yes, Fajara Barracks. How long did you remain there? Uh, I was there for about three months. But I was there for about three months. But I was there for about three months. But I was there for about I cannot recall, but it's been a long time. But after I was moved to the state house at the outriding section. After you left Bakau, did you go anywhere else before you went to state house? Did you go to Bakau? Yes, somebody will have to leave Bang and leave the state house for a certain time. And that outriding section, what old Atlantic Hotel, outride, outriders were all done. Reporter all done. Yes, we went to the outriding section. At that time, it was at the old Atlantic Hotel. Hotel. And that was attached to State House, was yes, it? Yes, yes. And what more? Be chukiri in State House level. Ah, we have a State House level. Yes, it was under the State House. And before you went to the outriding section on the State House, did you go anywhere else apart from Fajara Barracks? Did you work anywhere else in the military? Ako sa ing fe do ko ke dinkira do tele sojar bundala janning ibitala do ko fong fong kumuta mudala State House. Fe ye samba dula do tele bang? Ani? No. You didn't work at Yundum Barracks for a brief period. For Imando Kuke Yundum Sojar Kordat, Barak Suje, what is it under? I know for them, going at two weeks after Mutra Bakao. Yes, I said that. I said I spent there two weeks, then I returned back to Bakao. Thank you very much. Numbara. Tell us what your duties were when you were moved to the outriding section of yeah. State House. A funny and silly little do cool moon munet, bring a samba outriding Dinkran into State House Koto. In other than train has in train for escorting, outriding escorting. We were trained as outriding escorts. Would you call that motorcycle, motorcycle escort? Yes. yes, that's it, the motorcycles. And what or who were you escorting? escort, 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 It was the president's convoy. 
Tell us what your duties were. Afanya watembo ite walakaro la wado kufungo elado kumu muni muni tige. After bringing a training bang, na be findila then enka ikampigle dol kata sweep dol kala moto belt. A depend ali detail dami don ni detail ala moto kala moto belt ni detail sweep do yata auto da na be mufla. After the training, we were selected and. Each time he goes out, some of us, we are detailed to act as sweepers. Other times, we uh, act as uh, the people who built his car. And who are you referring to as he? Mm. Ex-president Yajami. Ex-president Yajami. And can you tell us what other functions you had? I would not go to go to the outriders. At that time, that was the only assignment I did, outriders. And under whose command were you working? What was the state guard commander? We are under command of state guard commander. At that time, we were under the command of the state guard commander. And who was that? Yeah, 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 his nickname was Limbo. What was his rank at the time? Ala makamu ala rank mu neti no tembo. Two stars ba wulo. He had two stars. Lieutenant. Tell us uh, what that means for us civilians. Gentlemen, mu civilian ngol dini ko two star lo lo fullo mau long sojari ato barbitong full lieutenant, full lieutenant. Was a full lieutenant. Thank you very much. And how long did you remain in that unit? E wati jelle ke obundala. Uh, I think I had one here there. And where did you go after that? After that, I'm from the commander. I'm not to explain. I can tell role is not appointed, I'm selected, I said driver. Driver, 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 after that, I marched myself to the commander and I informed him that my role is uh, as a driver because that was what I was selected as uh, when I joined the Zandamori. I will not accept, so not back, go back to my driving cell inside the state house. Then he accepted and then I returned back to the driving session inside the state house. And what was your role um, as a driver at State House at that time? Sila ila lodula kira muneti nungu wari sae imuruta driver ya Karola State House. Be convoy kono? I was in the convoy. Is that the presidential convoy? Presidential, presidential convoy. convoy tibang? Ah, uh, presidential convoy. Uh, yes, the president's convoy. And can you tell us just more about your role within the presidential convoy as a driver? Who were you working with? Under which command? And also what kind of activities did you get involved in? Sayang, afonyeng, watembo ebe o drive ya la convoy yin yung kono, yin yin juma nyo lebe duo kola je, juma le mwa la nyato nkote, me mwa la komandati, ani mfanang ala duo ko, ite fongo kungo, eka muni 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 leke, ni ebe o convoy o kono. Apura al komanda, wale mu state guard komanda, but nito la unit komanda, wale mu state guard 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 the overall commander was the state guard commander, but our unit commander was the late man Biram Sam. He was a full lieutenant. What other drivers did you work with? In the driver, do you mind your family do cook in your tempo? Drive all me in Beijing, darling. See, darling, because now hundred million silent civilian and the military now okay, me see, darling. The drivers that were there were many. They were almost up to a hundred or more and uh, they were comprised of both civilians and military officers. Apart from the civilian and military officers, where, was there any other kind of driver there? There was civilian driver, soldier driver, men who were able to call out. For driver, do for be able to do for them, they were able to kill them. And in the way, maybe driving kill them like that? No, all of us were in that same driving. And in the, mili the military drivers, were they divided in any way? Soldier drive full menu BJ. For a fatal nyam nyado nyama banke talan talan. I'm fatalale. Dolbe BJ. Dolbe plain clothes side le. Dolbe military drive side. 
Yes, we were differentiated. Some were on the side of the civilian drivers uh, in plain clothes, and there were others who were in, on the military side. Would you happen to know what the significance of that difference is? For a salon, the Munana or Fatu Kataja, Dolu Buka Uniformo Dum, Dolu Tara Uniformo Koro, Fumune or Fata. A plain cloth, men with plain cloth side. Along with six hundred soldiers, they have many plain cloth. Those that we are in the plain clothes side, you know, you have, we had a section called the plain, plain, plain clothes. Uh, drive size six hundred soldiers, men on the military drive, what they are putting on military gear. There, were, there was also a section of military drivers who wore military uniforms. For the baby, one command lekoro on the MTO lekoro. But drive floor, section floor be on the MTO lekoro. But these two sections were under the same command, under the MTO. Every year, the selection of the dal. So near two years of or one year of plain clothes. So then MTO ni ya fire call ni physical guard. So other section of night are plain clothes. Because we used to rotate at the time, so if you served in one section for one year, then you'll be rotated to the other section. I was just trying to understand what the significance of having military personnel dressed in plain clothes or civilian dress rather than military uniform. Many along soldier or lumi to bring young and ding, if a soldier uniform doom, it civil, it can plain clothes doom, it can for a plain clothes. Ah, and no hanimbi baby soldier ya control a coto. And in men form of uniform doom, money for that. Female for that, just sectionally for that line, you don't be plain clothes, don't be physical guard. Plain clothes, all the catara, a convola, maybe after you for that, I'll also explain that. So I can now explain. There was no difference uh, at all. It's just the sections what was, that was the difference. Thank you very much. And what was the formation of the convoy? I convoy formation force outriders The formation of the convoy is such that the force outriders are usually in the front. These are the ones we called the sweepers. Apart Second, from the outriders, were there any other sweepers? I call our outrider to call for sweeper. Do you find any other one? I'm coming to also the member. Member that are outrider no more. Often I'm sweeper. The local only lampos are any other. Often I only that are motorcycle no more. Yes, we had a vehicle which used to follow the sweepers, which was part of it, part of them. That had a lamp on top of it. That was also part of the sweeping team. What was the role of the sweepers? In sweeper, you need to sweep the whole phone. You need to do all the laundry. Come on, okay. All the guys need to sweep. Our rider, you need all the catambi. We need to drive car jam. They are motor to think. No rider, you need. We need man over all the car motor to jump in. So motor sweep 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 any car no more. They used to sweep the highway. Sweep. The rider used to be in front to maneuver within the vehicles because if the vehicles are on the way, the convoy can't pass, and so it clears the way. Was there any other significance? What other things did the sweepers do apart from clearing the way for the convoy? Akofo kukuma do bijele eka menke memanda nyinda mantoko kasilo sene yandi convoy ni nyati lengola foku do bijele eka menke ban. A sweeper ni muto ni wakatara nyaro because na be radio katara jele handheld set of communication o ni communication o mantara jele ni radio fix muto fomo balare radio whole convoy be also do lekani. The the, the vehicle which was part of the sweeping team used to have a radio, a handset communication uh, unit. But if it doesn't have it, we used to fix one there. In fact, all of the vehicles used to have communication sets. And what would they do with these communication sets? Saying, Ilao Chokinola, Wala, Ilao Diamurang, Setolunili, Ika Ikamuneke. A motor say, I will sweep any obstacle like Ninko Fengo Fembenyado. Like Axan Le Benyado or Motole Pantaje, who Fenne Vesilo Candal, Walaka convoying communicating, Puru convoying Nalfra and Yundla Nankamdo, Salonin in Nebeje, so Alian Singotala, as a form would be slowed down, yes, Singotala. The sweeper would go in front, and uh, <coughs> if there is any obstacle on the highway or an accident or anything that is going to be an obstacle to the convoy, the sweeper would communicate to the, to the other, the rest of the convoy to tell them that if you come to so-and-so place, there is uh, an accident or something is there which uh, 
necessitates you to slow down your speed. How was this information received by members of the convoy? convoy VIP reserve Just as I said, apart from the VIP vehicles, all other vehicles, each one of them used to have a handheld set. And that is how the communication would be channeled. Amunta chokinyolo kafuta ulubema nya wo nyale wo wo seto lo kono puri besa moi. Um, ning ofuta drum. Fomo fembe kumbwa kona beka amu elimembe kirenda. Once that information is given, everybody in the convoy gets it. You mentioned including the VIP vehicle. Which vehicle are you referring to as the VIP vehicle? Ye nyum foko VIP moto. Ibe moto jumale ma jumale mo VIP moto nyindi. At the express dan kabula mengono. The one that the ex-president used to be called. The person that he usually uh, be in that vehicle with used, usually has a scent. And who is that person? Jumale Katewo Mariti, Meng Fananka Seto Soto VIP Motokono. Different passes. My Musa Jamena Naketa Jele, Martin Aning Umba Mendi, Olibe Nakatara Motokono. There were different individuals. Musa was there at one time, Martin was there at another time, and Umpa was there also. And these three individuals, what position did they occupy? What was the common position they had? They occupied All we are usually officers. All of them were officers. captain, all lieutenant, some majors. Some were captains, others were lieutenants, others were majors. They had a particular position that was assigned to them. That's why they sat with the president in his vehicle. What was that? Ko amunta ika palas kumal soto ika mendi imari la wala na ika nying sembo soto purkasi president of fe ala motoko na kaka wale nyinga. Mwale momo kawake, wale mu head of the plane cloth, the head of the plane cloth, wale katara ala modoko no. Usually, anyone that will, start, will sit with him used to be the head of the plane clothes. And the plane clothes officers were the personal bodyguards of the ex-president, is that correct? Amunta niko plane clothes, menu buka uniform dung, amunta wale formu president wala bala kantar laluti. Ah, wale clothes dal, wale clothes dal, aras ring surrounding you ring in kona, wale katara fe, the ring in to dal. Yes, they were the ones close to him, they would, were the ones that would form a ring around him. The physical guard wale katara outskit. And the physical guard used to be at the outside. You mentioned Musa, you mentioned Martin and Umpa. Can you give us their full names, please? Ye Musa Tofo, ye Umpa Tofo, ye Martin Tofo. Is he a control of the phone? Musa, Musa Jame. One is Musa Jame. Was he known by any other name? For Tolo Bijele Kakiliman Nabang? Malia. Tolka by Malia. Malia, some call him Malia. And can you tell us the full name? Malia what? A full name, Malia Nyadi. But our full name is Musa Jame. That is the name I name. I know that is his nickname, but his full name is Musa Jame. And the next person, Alaji? Alaji Martin. Alaji Martin. And Umpa? Umpa Mende. Umpa Mende. And were they the principal protection officers of the ex-president Yahya Jame? Well, I was the principal protection principal protection officers, PPO. Yes, they were the ones. So any communication from the sweepers or any member of the convoy about accidents or any other information would be known to the president through this channel of con communication that you mentioned. Munta convoy or kono ni misali kama kulu minu betama kanjia, aketa accidentally bang, aketa kuleti minu be convoy o nyato wala na atake fe uofenti. Munta president aninyi membe moto kono afeji, munta wale kake moti kibaro kafuta mema memfa nankana aketa kibaro sindi atema. Fakata wale nyama bang. Because radio is a radio communication, like the motor is not the motor of Benyato, the motor is not the motor of the motor, the motor is not the motor of Benyato, the motor is not the motor of Hitting, the motor is not the motor of communication, so there is an accident. So automatically, the motor is not the radio of Benyato. So the motor is not the motor of Benyato, the motor is not the motor of Benyato, the motor is not the motor of Benyato. 
Hundred percent that I call on the Yes, this is how the communication is uh, distributed among members of the convoy. Because that man, the man sitting with the president on board his vehicle, the moment anything happens and the information comes from the sweepers, then he will immediately get the information. And at the time, he will also inform the big man inside the vehicle. And by that time, all other members of the convoy would have had the information being passed. And that's the time when action will be taken either to slow down or whatever should be done. Before we digress. No. Correction. Uh -huh. All right, please uh, go ahead. Manke, I put the book of present inform. The radio, the ning, the ning, radio, the ning communication, the drone, the present phone, the camera, the non, the book of a sindama, a camera, the live radio, radio, the coming, the zone, the. They never informed the president. It was a, a communication which was broadcast loud for the president to hear himself. Nobody so, needed to tell him. All right, so you're saying that this information was heard directly by the president. president he did not need to be informed. No, no, because Thank you very much for that confirmation. Before we digressed, you were talking about the formation of the convoy and you spoke about the sweepers. Let's yeah. just go back and tell us the rest of the formation of the convoy before we move on. And in between, tell na ebe convoy onyin na kolu fo kanya na yesu na sweeper la kolu kachale. So go kola mo kotam lumen be convoy kono wolu fanalu e ila lota nkam lumu ne ti convoy kono isi ofana ku se se fonye. Ah, ning sweeper onyin tamira dal command commander katara moto men kono commander commander wola katara sweeper noma. After the sweepers pass, the next vehicle following is usually the one that con uh, would uh, have the commander in it. Which commander are you referring uh, to? The state, guard the state, guard state guard commander. The state guard commander. Please go ahead. Uh, after that, plain clothes Onoma. After that, the vehicle of the plain clothes will follow. After the VIP motor, the XCA Jamela Motoitara Onoma, plain clothes Onoma. And then the ex president's vehicle will follow that of the plane clothes. Back of a plane clothes, the cataract of another back, a la moto, a plane clothes, the cataract of another back, a la moto, Behind his vehicle is also another vehicle containing plane clothes officers, so that his vehicle is in the middle. So after that, a la reserve for the Nabula or the Kono, the road reserve for the reserve server, and the other personal belongs in your room. You had his reserves either to a vehicle or two vehicles that would carry his personal belongings. What you've described is a long line of vehicles. Were there any vehicles that flanked on either side of the VIP or presidential vehicle? But if you have a president of the president of the president of the president of the Yes. That, that used to be, especially where you had a wide road, you had vehicles flanked from both sides. When you had a narrow road and you had vehicles flanking on either side, then that means that those vehicles would be riding off the road, would be driving off the road. Is that not correct? Wamu tolo mimi nyanya tatu la silo karafulo bela ika Kenya di la fudum sila hanimbi katara unyia kilu unyia le mamba karatan tam fulo la fudum ika tambile fu ika jenke le fu iwulika ina katara nyali le ni kamuru le back la straight line onyinta extended line onyinta yetera nyono ma no usually they will line up and make an extended line we will come back to this point because the reason I raised it was that there were instances of accidents where the vehicles went off the road and hit pedestrians or motorists. But we will come back to it. Mbe mulula na wakane, karunia yengaji ulindi, watu luka sotole, watu dolu, dameni ya longko nyi, moto lumenu katara katatantango lula, eka sivili yangu luta kisilo kang wala, eka takiruwa kisilo kang, wala nangangu watu njini nkabari, mbe mulula na njele, nyato domandi. Waka sotole kanyi. Yes, that used to happen. Thank you. After your experience as a convoy driver, did you move up in the ladder? Ako saim buri na tatara o convoy motoborindo njina saim palas lafanyi ina tatu soto leje ban kasele sando. I bring na late MT onyimbanda. Yes, when our late uh, when our MT, L, uh, MT. For, M, former MTO died. Ah, uh, bira bantamule na rake. Rabanda, 
There were three or four individuals who seniored me by a rank. But they were not uh, prepared to accept the position. I think they might have uh, been afraid. Fear, afraid. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what they were afraid of? It's like a palace is very important because any movement, any movement of the convoy, so it can take contact. So any delays get anything to down, then anything be a penalty to Well, you know, uh, during those th days, uh, when you were in that position, a special that position, which was very important, anything can happen to you. For instance, if they, are, if they are called on a convoy and there is a delay, they could, uh, could have a serious reprimand for such. Can you just speak directly, Mr. Sirikan, and just tell us what people were fearful of holding that particular position? What was so sensitive about it? did it have anything to do with the fact that you were working directly with Yai Jami under his very close supervision? Yes, it happened to one of our drivers there. Not two or not once. Not once, not twice. What happened? Uh, yes, I yes, that is around mile two. They were locked up at mile two. He told, I told dismiss. He dismissed others. And what did they do? Well, you know, you know, One of them went out with the first lady. They went to New Strat. On their way back, the vehicle climbed up a slab. And so when they returned, he asked that the boy be locked up. To get a driver for the sort of It happened to two drivers there. For simply moving over a slab. Yes, yeah, slab. Or climbing yeah. on a slab. Slab. Yeah. Was the vehicle damaged? No. 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 Was anyone injured? No. no. Can you tell us who these individuals were? One was Yaya Sawane. The other one was Ibukole. And were they military or civilians? No, almost civilian already. No, they were civilians. And who gave those instructions for them to be locked up? Jumale o kangodi purka ulu sorong. Ati ya jame, ya jame le kangodi. Ya jame himself. He gave the order. Second incident for now. And the second incident also. Before we move to the second incident. Janim bitala wodo. Can you tell us if due process was followed before he sent them to mile two? Fodung ni be mo soron. Yalong kulle kake kafuka kitinda nyong kukutangulu. Fo kulle tamata bang ya ni be ulu soron. Fo aya fole drong yolo muta ye soron. Anente fomu mbai bente mengo anente fomu mbaka kala ma. Following the lengi ni nika drong ekonye ko ye samba mile two. Even myself, on on the whom they were, was not aware. It was only the following day when I inquired about them that I was told that they were taken up to mile two and locked up. How long were they there for? You were taken to mile two. I'm almost six months, nine months. See how to take you five months. I think almost six months, if not more, but maybe five months. And what happened after they were released? So bring a bulla. Mune na ta kewala. A commander na dang commander so anari hano bama so akonye sambela samba. The commander called me and uh, came and handed them over to me and uh, told me to take them away. Take them away where? Some bumming to okay, Sandy, well, like by a man dismissed him. They were not dismissed, they continued with their work. So they just continued as normal, like nothing happened. Nothing happened. Monday, continental and yard of Kuisamira, the cook on the monkey. 
was the commander at the time? Jumalum commander at Otumo was Sri Modunjai. It was Sri Modunjai. You're about to tell us about a second incident. He left a a kufulanja wa keta mfana na kufulanja kile left to follow nuni mo keta nyadi. Ah, yen kumana le konga ledi ba manga drive for provider ni Modoka Samba Senegal dekar. Well, I was called to provide a vehicle and escort to uh, escort Juma Bama. Lady, lady, Zainab. Zainab to, to escort Zainab, the lady, the president's wife's mother, to escort her to Senegal. They asked me to provide a vehicle and a driver. Then I provided these two things. I'm a cluster for Amdalai, baby. It had a check up, Amdalai. Paper transaction, driver don't have a sickle as a bar, and he escorted you. So, Malum message for the Janan and Beji commander in command. So, when you need you, Nara drone, then Yajame, the dear Sijena Bia for Abamale, Adima call Kaiko, Nulkani in the slogan. So, Billy Nara drone, those two drivers in Adi dismiss. They went up to at the checkpoint, at the checkpoint I'm, I'm the light, they were transacting their, their documents. I think the driver and the other escort, they smoked cigarette, and the first lady's mother called the daughter and uh, told her and that this is what these people are doing on the highway. And so they, I was called to be told that when they returned back... Let me uh, 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 dismiss them. Did you do as instructed? So, I said, you come and get a purka by another Kenya deal, yeah, by Wolf Hebang. And the commander of you, Billy Nadi Mantitra, will already not be another don't utter a stand by the Purke, but Billy Nadi don't will arm of what on Tijitano, Billy Nadi will arm of wrong. I'm the following day wrong. The commander called me, dismissed that. The commander called me and gave me this information. But when they returned, it was in the evening, I was not there. But I think the following day, they were dismissed. And that was just because they smoked cigarettes? Mm, outside. Not even inside the vehicle, but outside. Not even inside the vehicle, outside. And did you think that was probable cause for a dismissal? No. Did you ask for any other explanation? No. Thank you. Do you have any other experiences, perhaps, um, dealing with either Yaya Jame or the authorities at State House? Kwa inumbara, baribitu mfo, ya kudo londi doso tolebang, menkita kuolu lanyati, watembo mebe state house, ya haja mefongo bang, akita nyato nka kotengo leti menu vijie bang, ila kuolu lanyafo, isi kumado fono lefana nguwenye mkufo, so ngolito menu kita jie utumo. Just in particular surrounding how they treated members of staff there. Kwa nyi nkamala, do kulalu menu vijie, ika kuolu menu samba ulukang, ika kuolu menu la ulukang, itala jie roto. Eni, ntela na... Side no to London, then menu bang koto je dal no wala talon ne kany. I know about what happened to me as well as those that were under me. You told me about an instance where Yaya Jame had a conversation with Elijah Martin. Do you remember? Before you phone you, before you hackilo si bulala bangko Yaya Jame ni Elijah Martin ikachata inene kachata le. I am commonly no Kongam Trocol provide what or a Bacasole Sambala Nord Bank CRR. Yes, they called me and asked me to provide trucks because they had some uh, luggage which they were taking across to the North Bank. I'm a Trocol provide a Bacasole be loading a beef fuel. So I provided the trucks and they were loaded and I fueled them. So I am a Jita and Puruka Bacasole Gibe, Birajita and Nim Commander Traje Martin. So he came downstairs to inspect. The, uh, the, loaded vehicles. The, the loaded vehicles, and he found me there with a the commander, Alaji Martin. So another one, another one, commander, I'm all parallel. So I got commander crossing Kaito, commander got crossing Kaito, that are ferry crossing Kaito. So I told the commander, the vehicles are ready. Mm -hmm. Usually the commander is the one that he used to work on the crossing documents. What commander was he at that time? Uh, Mumu commander, let you uh, State house commander. State house commander. Very well, continue. Mm -hmm. okay, so, Commander Nada Fai, Kaito Mumpare, so I don't have to. I banned the job for Commander, why Kaito Mumpare? So, the, the time was last. The so. Commander told him that the documents were not yet ready, so he turned and gave a very bad insult to the Commander and asked him why the documents were not yet ready. Can you tell us what that bad insult was? 
Mr. Sirikan, when you were explaining this to me in my, in my office, you were more expressive of how Yahya Jame really insulted Elijah Martin. Are you able to demonstrate through actions the way he was behaving that day? And tell us the reason why he was so upset. No, he was not doing any action. He just stood there and uh, cousin his mother. What was the reason why he insulted Elijah Martin? Why was he so upset that he had to? Ako mundeli lele du ya kamfandi wanya hanfo abe Elijah Martin bane na wanya mune yoke mune ya kamfandi. Abati because atila biraite baka solonga ni sedwa ko move so move dong then. When he inspected the loaded uh, trucks and he gave the order for the trucks to get moving, that was when I told Alaji that but the documents are not ready. I think that was what he heard, which angered him. You already told us that, Mr. Sirikan. What were the nature of the goods on those trucks? There was rice, there was sugar, there was pig milk. And what were they supposed to be used for? And Western Division, URL. They were taking them to the governor's offices for mosques in the West, uh, Western Division, LRR, and the other parts of the country. Mr. Sedekan, you're really holding back. For what purpose? Mr. Sedekan, didn't you tell me it was supposed to be for charity purposes, and that this is something that he did? So when he realized that this charity was going to be late, he got upset because he, want, he needed it for a particular reason. It was for the charity. I think it's the lateness which, which angered him. And we've heard evidence in, at the TRRC of how the late president, the former president, was always handing out charities of different kinds. This was something that he really believed in. Sada can definitely occur upon the can every yes, time. As a charity, he definitely gives charity. So what do you say to provide a big Sada Carly Samara Lado Tarin? Occasionally I'll be told to prepare tr trucks that charity was been was to be taken to a particular place. So this was something regular that he always did. Well what on your mukuli farmer, what you are can you sada for some bundle? Uh huh. Yes. And how did you feel? At that point, what position did you hold at State House? Watembo ni mbeke la tumo mena utimo mumpalasi lebebulu State House je. I was acting MTO. I was the acting MTO. 
And how did you feel knowing that your own boss was being insulted in such a in such a way in front of you? Sa ite ya jenya dile ya tanya dile ifang beluring ila boss ibe nyonyo nendiri kunangu lufulawo ye ite fangu nyala sa ing ite yota nya dile. Wado kan tolo kan state house mama save je kan so meyo ma anything can be happen ite la karola kan wado kan. At that time at the state house we are not safe and anything could come your way. And that is why no one wanted this position that you eventually accepted. When we were there, Kendi, my mom prayed for Palace Hotel. I am informed that Dolu Silata Palace is in Nale. So we were there, Kendi, my mom had an impression of Palace Hotel. Ah, well, because the phone, I'm from Ghana, but after that, I can't feel it because I'm not calling me sorry, Jadal. So yes, that was the reason why. Even myself, I accepted the position, but later on, I regretted because of the difficulties that I encountered. Can you tell us some of those difficulties? Yo, kule ya kule menu dolu sotoje dolu fanya mbamu kule ya kufaso nulem. One time, ye lock ni mfajara baraks. One time, I was locked up at the fajara baraks. Do ye nsamba dentin bridge for the punishment. And in another occasion, I was taken to dentin bridge on punishment. Can you tell us about being locked up at fajara baraks? What did you do to warrant this? Afanya fajara baraks ye soronje dalilo menka ye muneke. Fanu fui be sambala fajara baraks kata yeso ronye. Kari me mbanga mra wafu. Tala lulus five five prayers nyi. Tala taimo sida ye konga. Salo sida ondo normally. Sato de ni sonde. Mkana stand by le kabin eight o'clock for. Eight in the morning and eight in the afternoon. So sato de ni sonde nka wale ke dal. Purnabe mufla. It was close to the five p.m. prayer time. At that time, we used to be on standby from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. When I left the field, I called the number of people to silence. I said, "Come on, come on, let's go." I think he wanted to go out, and they called me. But because I was praying in the mosque and my mobile phone was in silence, on silence. Who wanted to go out? The man left the field. The ex-president Jami. The ex-president Jami. So they called me so that I could tell the boys to prepare a convoy, but at that time I was praying. When I came out from the mosque, I found the late Musa Jame standing by the door. So I found the late Musa Jame standing by the door. The late Musa Jame standing by the door. So I the the he told me, so you have time for prayers. Here the president is wanting to go out and he cannot uh, go. Uh, take him away and lock him up. And how long were you locked up for? Mm -hmm. Some days later, less than one week. There some days. It was some days, less than one week. And you said you were disciplined after, apart from yes. that. What, what uh, happened to you? Yeah, for you, in at a clear do for na leka ne wokola. Second one of na kera wali. Juma lunga lem. Moli salo almamo kutuboke fua pareta puruka abedua la puruka salo londi. It was on a Friday. The Imam gave his sermon and he was preparing to start the prayers. And then Sol Baji yang call. Then Sol Baji called me. Adon tebe damendo just ni abe tiringa la atebe lori damendo isansiro lo atemoro ni brimbe siri ni abala le so I signal tendo so I konye na na nara ngatera ya konye. Boila boi sol be kuman drive sol be kuman design alita motor arrange alita storeo alia mano tana nje kana lundi jamu hote jang after president kuni ngapa reda salola abe mano distribute la sal dalie so na bolanga ibo time osi dalai alma mungu alunga sali ni salta ngafenge dal akoni no no aliwa kesi enda so ya salo wuli ndi drone nte kai sante bida salola so mbota kodo drone tada please keep in mind the interpreters it was on a Friday after the imam performed the sermon. Uh, I was just sitting facing uh, the Imam and I saw, suddenly I saw Saul Baji standing in front. He just signaled me with his fingers for me to go to him. I went to him. He told me uh, the president will go out uh, uh, after and he wants you to prepare a convoy and so on. But I said, now we are ready to pray. Just allow me to pray. Then I went back and prayed. Then that's what caused the problem. Can you clarify? Uh, correction. Uh -huh. Yes, thank uh, you. Friday prayers, Lim. Friday prayers. Manu, Stormy, State House, Konoje. 
restored the store that was inside the state sa time aussi dans l'origine fait les salons on va ni salam alaykum ngi don nga ros nga manol manol sambana i said to him sir but they have started the prayers already let's allow them when they do the salam alaykum that we could rush and load the vehicles. so wo kono ngam lay telephone call le sodabe telephone la so e salolo ndi don ndefa nana ta join ta salolo nga salo ke don salam alaykum da don so ako fo de buka sal way na bi diamo lan ta sali so Yes, that's how, that's how it happened. So we prayed, and at the end of the prayers, I think he got a telephone call uh, at that time. So after we finished prayers, then I came out. Briefing the nang. I briefing the nang donga ko ital lock why babla ko donga da salola. Well, when I came out of the mosque, he said, "Let them go and lock me up." Why did I have to stay, stop uh, uh, talking to him and go and perform prayers uh, after he gave orders? So that's why he said, let me go and be locked up. And who is Sol Baji? Malo Sol Baji. General Sol Baji, so I absconded. General Sol Baji, he has now absconded. What was his position at the time? Otembo Mumpalas Le Babulu. All right, Lieutenant Colonel. At the time, he was a Lieutenant Colonel. And um, what particular position in State House did he have? Atabe Makama Jumale Kunanum State House, Otumo. He was just there. He was in the commander. He was in the PPO. Commander of the State Guard? No, he said he was at the State House there. He was not the commander. He was not the PPO. But he was based there at the time. But I know that he was even more powerful than the commander. Because what I can name him for you all the time. But I know that he was even more powerful than the commander. Because whatever he said was what happened. But you don't know what particular position he held. I don't know what to handle any position. No, at the time he was not handling any position. And how did he get these powers? I knew symbol doing so many things. Ah, no, ex-president Nadia Lakai, yeah, Jami. I think it was the ex-president that empowered him, yeah, Jami. Why are the role function be on Jili Lakai? He knows his roles there. And in both examples that you just gave previously. You can see that the ex-president did not want anybody to interfere or delay with his charity activities. Amunda ye ko sata nye jami nyami nyi senaya tele mobe ya jile ko. Atebe presida ya la tumo mena ala o sada kulu amala fi kukundi ye asababu mensi ulu tardendi. Omu kule time ya lonko o bamba ntafe. Yes. Were there any other experiences you had? What was the nature of the job? Was it difficult? And um, in terms of the hours of your work, can you tell us more about that as well? Because we've heard through the evidence that the president used to move during very unusual hours of the day. Can you tell us anything? So, so I tell After instead of I lock, appeal to so samba bridge for the Hase guard commander almost not two weeks ago. I want to say something about uh, the issue of uh, Sol Baji before I proceed. Because when he gave the instructions that I be locked up, some other officers appealed to him, and so he accepted. But then he sent me to Denton Bridge as uh, on guard duties. So in fact, you were never locked up. You were only sent to Denton Bridge yeah, for guard duties. On that particular occasion. Yes, somebody in Denton Bridge, Kata Kantarola, was still on the Yes. Was that a demotion of some sort or punishment? Amunda Odung, Amunda Palace, Jindolam Dam Fudung Munkula Moti. Demotion Bafon. It's a big demotion. Sometimes Gahid Lekan because Nimu Lenjej can pass by that because of her. Sometimes I used to hide because I did not want the passers by to see me. Please go ahead. A quiet and ten silang, do Konyin Kolea Kul. Then I remember for all of it because a month time, so I can remember one night. Four o'clock, uh, Umpayan called me. He called me that uh, 
tomorrow, 7 o'clock, Combo Bello Lale, a President Kada Kali Lale. Yes, so what, I telephoned him off. What you said uh, used to exist because I remember one day Umpa called me around 4 a.m. and uh, told me that uh, the, a convoy is leaving for Kanlai tomorrow at uh, 7 a.m. and uh, he rang off immediately. And at the time, what position did he occupy? Was he PPO or did he occupy another position? What time did you pass the mall? Bate bula. Tell him PPO. What time did you pass the mall? Bate bula. Well, PPO or the head of the plane cloth bank mall, but he's part of the plane cloth. I'm not sure whether he was the PPO or head of the plane clothes department. I'm not sure. Well, that day, months, months were lost, you know, because not drive for baby. He had to drive from Antara State House. That night, mm. I did not sleep because my drivers were each in their individual homes. So on the phone, I will go to school. I'm not calling. I'm not driving from Minnesota. 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 I'm not driving So I took up my telephone and called. So if I got those whose phones were not off, I will drive personally to their homes and pick them up. So I'm not trying to do I tried and I came with them. So that small number, we, we set up a convoy. But I think the convoy did not move until 10 o'clock. And where were you going to? Many of those instances happen. In the night, you'll be called. And what would happen if you were not able to form a Convoy in time. Manakanake, convoy When his time comes for him to move and uh, it is announced that uh, the drivers are not uh, around or the convoy is not yet ready. That is a big problem, and that is the situation that people used to run away from. So you had no particular hours of work. You could be called at any time of the day or night. I'm going to tell you my wati lori in soto memu ala doku wati wati. Isi kumandi no. Suto wati 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 wala tilo wati wati. Take on your hand 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Sometimes you can come and link at our state house. As for me, even 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, they will call me and I'll go to the state house. I don't get to the state house for eight months. I don't have to put a sock on the door. I don't have to put a sock on the door. I don't have to put a sock on Sometimes I would be at the state house until, until eight, and then I'll go home. No sooner would I reach, then they would call me back to return to the state house. And would you say that working at state house uh, directly under the president puts you in a more vulnerable position than perhaps any other member of the military? Amunta o tembo kaduko ke state house sako president la Karola ai ilondi dula to dami ya lonko aketa dula ko lembati me ya lonko ko kundi nsike no lele wati o wati o tembo men ibo do ko la o dinkira to je fo au kol be lari fe wala nyama ah what of i come so jaro dol post state house le bokason kata kata ni le post state house dan e ka ku excuse dol ta dal pour kata state house bokason yes at that time there were some soldiers who usually would be posted to the state house but they will take excuses to just to stop from going to the state house and that was because of the reasons you've mentioned of course mun ta yenin dalilol men fo wala ka so jaro lo dol sila pour kata do ko la je yes there, the smallest thing you do, the slightest thing you do, you are dismissed. You want a mile to be dismissed. If you are not taken to mile two, you would be dismissed. Or you'd be taken to mile two and dismissed. Well, I see some mile two or call her Mary by by her. Yes. And in all of these cases, would you say due process was followed? Only all be be kela eka tamandi ni silo le la lua e memfo bangfo. Ani? No. So let's just go back to your appointment as motor transport officer, MTO. Natayla Palasoto, ke tombong eketa motor transport officer de kavome MTO. That is the present position you occupy now. Yes. Munda say ibe o Palaso leto nyin tembeng. Ah. Yes. When did you take up the position originally? Saying yo Palaso nyin yata wati juma le follow ke. Briari state, Briari state don move to state house don ata. When I was reinstated and I was posted to the state house, I took the position. I meant um, in the previous regime. When did you take up the position as MTO? Where was the 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 MTO
time you remember no but let bringing na mto banda dong so nga bidin na da actin din nambe actin dong so actin na dan confirm so na da tan what time on i cannot recall the time but when our former mto died i was uh, appointed at, as the actin and eventually as the head of the unit you were recruited into the army or gendarme as you say around 1991 well, and yes. you worked in the gendarme later the military for a few years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the bring after the coup yet yet dissolved so you know after Zandam the coup the gendarmerie was dissolved can you tell us how many years you worked before you became MTO? Was it more Almost. than five years, seven, ten? Uh, no, almost eight, eight to nine years, Dad. Almost uh, eight to nine years. Ordinary drivers. As an ordinary driver. So perhaps let's say around the year 2000 or early mm -hmm. 2000s. Uh, when you became MTO. Around that time. Mm. Thank you very much. You've already told us what your responsibilities as um, MTO is. Yes. You're in charge of all the vehicles surrounding the convoy at State House. Mm. Also preparing the convoy for the president. Did you have any other duties as regards the vehicles themselves in terms of maintenance, repairs, or anything like that? maintenance, State house, young feet, a garage also. So, yes, there were mechanics in the state house. We had a mechanic garage. So, no more may problems so, at all. You do for maintenance. So, because several then near near approved a dong a bacas or of Italy a maintenance. So, any vehicle that had a problem which was due for maintenance, we will uh, prepare the documents. And uh, once it is approved, we will buy the materials necessary and then the mm. mechanics. Including the president cell combo fanala, VIP model fanala. The mechanics will, will repair the vehicle and that also included the president's vehicles. You told us also about the formation of the convoy um, whilst you were a convoy driver. As MTO, were you part of the convoy? Did you go on missions? No, I never went on missions. Once I prepared a convoy and it left, I used to stand by and uh, stay behind. Were you able to receive any information that was um, directed to the convoy? Yes, if there was an accident, when they returned back, they used to tell me so-and-so person had an accident or there was an accident at so-and-so place. And who would tell you that? Who would give you that information? Saying, Jumanyo lekao kibaro futandi itefongo fanama. Not drive or drive only. My drivers. Enu katara kombo akono. That used to be in the convoy. And therefore, I would want to ask you questions on that about the particular accidents that happened whilst you were a convoy driver and also whilst you were MTO. But before we go into that. Mbela fila leke nyininka. Before we go into that, I would like to ask you about the speed of the convoy. Can you tell us a little about that before we go for the break? Then when we come back, we will start with the actual accidents that you witnessed. Convoy ning inimboro sembo menkata tu babul kafu me speed inim sembo menkata inimboro menkata 
Mbelafta yole fanya mbitu niyo botala niyo fufaka pare mbita dahandi mula ni muruta nang utumu nsinadu nkachako no kei njini nkawa aksida ngulu kei nyala. Munda sayi nkonvoi njini na speed ni mboro menkata. Kumbola speed akatara express and yaa jami wateleka speed ni control. Because this is boring yao nyan sometimes asafo ekamo yu wakafu duma umpa ya mufat mufat mufat. So nayo fu umpa ya umpa ya radio handset wa njinta. Move out, move out, move out. So then, men do be nyaro kain. It's 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 important. Borola nyawa nyandang. So can move le combo be on normal dial. So speed nyinga tera telebul. The speed of the combo was always controlled by Yaya Jama himself. No matter how fast the vehicles are rolling, once in a while you hear him tell Umpa move out, move out, and then Umpa will use his handset and will say uh, uh, tell the others to move out, move out. So. Uh, the convoy, actually, the speed is controlled by uh, Yajame himself. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. When we come back, we will continue from that point. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I hand over to you for the break. In Umbarabake, Selo, Mbitala, the handing will follow. Between I call Murundi, Bengala Siran, to Omala follow, and Ada Hala Fonga Murunang. The President was controlling traffic. A common the president will form the marine traffic all out of Mobang. Tell him what a convoy in the movement there. Okatara Telebulkan. He was responsible for his convoy's movement. That was entirely in his heart. Extraordinary. Thank you very much. I will take a 30 minute break. Come back at 12 noon. Meeting is adjourned.